Not only is technology changing, but it is doing so exponentially. Some technologies based on quantum physics are just plain spooky, while others are simply strange solutions to our problems. We went looking for the strangest technologies and drew up a list. This is what we came up with. This is the top strangest future technologies. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Sweat powered smart watches. Let us get right into it. The first technology in our video is sweat powered smart watches. Yes, you heard that right. Engineers at the University of Glasgow have developed a new type of flexible supercapacitor, which stores energy, replacing the electrolytes found in conventional batteries with perspiration. You might switch your butt off, but at least your watch will keep working. This watch can be fully charged with as little as 20 microliters of fluid and is robust enough to survive 4,000 cycles of the types of flexes and bends it might encounter during use. The device works by coating something called polyester cellulose cloth in a thin layer of polymer, which acts as the supercapacitor's electrode. As the cloth absorbs its wear sweat, the positive and negative ions in the sweat interact with the polymer surface, creating an electrochemical reaction action, which generates energy as easy as that. Conventional batteries are cheaper and more plentiful than ever, but they are often built using unsustainable materials which are harmful to the environment, says Professor Ravinder Daya, head of the Bendable Electronics and Sensing Technologies Best Group, working from the University of Glasgow's James Watts School of Engineering. That makes them challenging to dispose of safely and potentially harmful in wearable devices, where a battery broken could spill toxic fluids onto skin, and obviously nobody wants that. What we've been able to do for the first time is show that human sweat provides a real opportunity to do away with those toxic materials entirely, with excellent charging and discharging performance. Last we heard, the professor and his team were working up quite a sweat trying to get this technology out there. Self-Healing Living Concrete Scientists have developed what they call living concrete by using sand, gel, and bacteria. Researchers said this building material has structural loading bearing function, is capable of self-healing, and is more environmentally friendly than concrete, which is the second most consumed material on Earth after water. The team from the University of Boulder, Colorado believe their work paves the way for future building structures that could heal their own cracks, suck up dangerous toxins from the air, or even glow on command. Interesting, here is how it works. When a structure is damaged due to several fractures, it starts to show cracks that appear on its surface. The damaged concrete then allows water to seep in through its cracks. The bacteria captured previously added to the mixture now starts to germinate from the capsule after receiving nourishment from the water and nutrients, namely calcium lactate, which was also added to the mixture. The bacteria used can be any of the following, Bacillus pasteurizing, Bacillus sphericus, Escherichia coli, Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus coni, Bacillus halodurans, and Bacillus pseudofirmus. The active Activated bacteria start to feed on the calcium lactate present in the concrete, which utilizes the oxygen present in the calcium lactate and converts soluble lactate into insoluble limestone. Thus, the process of solidification of the insoluble limestone seals up the damaged surface of the structure. There you have it, water drinking, concrete producing bacteria living in concrete. Tiny Living Robots Tiny hybrid robots made from using stem cells from frog embryos could be used one day to swim around human bodies to specific areas requiring medicine and deliver the medicine or can even be used to gather microplastics in the oceans. These are novel living machines, said Joshua Bongard, a computer scientist and robotics expert at the University of Vermont, who co-developed the millimeter-wide bots known as xenobots. They are neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. It is a new class of artifact a living, programmable organism. Xenobots do not look like traditional robots. They have no shiny gears or robotic arms. Instead, they look a lot more like a tiny blob of moving pink flesh. The researchers say this biological machine can achieve things like typical robots of steel and plastic cannot. The xenobots could potentially be used for a host of tasks, according to the study, which was partially funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, a federal agency that oversees the development of technology for military use. Yeah, we should have known the military would have got their hands in there somewhere. Tactile Virtual Reality Researchers from the Northwestern University had developed a prototype device which aims to put the sense of touch within VR, using a flexible material fitted with tiny vibrating components that can be attached to skin. The system known as epidermal VR could be useful in other cases as well, from a loved one touching a display relaying the gesture to a family member located elsewhere, to helping people with amputations reintroduce their sense of touch. In gaming, it could alert players when a strike occurs on the corresponding body part of the game character, 
For example, if you are being shot in the back, you would feel the sensation on your back. The team's designs features 32 vibrating actuators on a thin 15cm by 15cm silicone polymer material. It sticks onto the skin without tape or straps and is free of large batteries and does not require wires. Instead, it uses near-field communication NFC technology to transfer the data. The result is a thin, lightweight system that can be worn and used without constraint indefinitely, says Professor John A. Rogers, who worked on the project. As an example, scientists hope that the technology could eventually find its way into clothing, allowing people with prosthetics to wear VR shirts that communicate touch through their fingertips or allow a parent to hug a child from the other side of the planet. Drowning Fires with Sound Forest fires could one day be dealt with by drones that would direct loud noises at the trees below. Remember what you learned in high school? Fire needs three things to burn. Oxygen, heat, and fuel. Take one away and the fire dies. This technology removes the oxygen. Since sound is made up of pressure waves, it can be used to disrupt the air surrounding a fire, essentially cutting off the supply of oxygen to the fire. At the right frequency, the fire simply dies out. Researchers at George Mason University in Virginia recently demonstrated this concept with their sonic extinguisher. They claim that base frequencies work best. This application would also mean that all fire extinguishers which contain harmful substances could be replaced with harmless sound-producing fire extinguishers. Drones protected from heat with ceramic tiles could tackle forest fires by flying to the base of the flames and woofing them out. Alternatively, you could simply turn up the volume of your sound system and play Metallica loudly when your home burns down. Actually, do not do that, it won't work. Your neighbors will just think you are crazy. AI scientist, cut off a flatworm's head and it will grow a new one. Cut it in half and you'll have two new worms. Fire some radiation on it and it'll repair itself. Scientists have wanted to work out the mechanisms involved for some time, but the secret has eluded them. Enter an AI code from Tufts University, Massachusetts. By analyzing and simulating countless scenarios, the computer was able to solve the mystery of the flatworm regeneration in just 42 hours. In the end, it produced a comprehensive model of how the flatworm's genes allow it to regenerate. This kind of information is like the holy grail in science. Although humans still need to feed the AI with information, the machine in this experiment was able to create a new abstract theory independently, a huge step towards the development of a conscious computer, and potentially a landmark step in the way we carry out research. Before we know it, computers will be making themselves. I cannot see any potential problem there. Can you? Cancer detecting smart needles. A smart needle has been developed by scientists in the UK, which will speed up the cancer detection and diagnosis time. Researchers believe that the technology could be particularly helpful in diagnosing lymphoma, reducing patient anxiety as they await the results. At present, people with suspected lymphoma often have to provide a sample of cells, followed by a biopsy of the node to be carried out for a full diagnosis, a process which is time-consuming and expensive. The new device uses a technique known as a Raman spectroscopy to shine a low-powered laser into the part of the body being inspected, with the potential to spot cancer cells within seconds. The Raman Smart Needle can measure the molecular changes associated with the disease in tissues and cells at the end of the needle, said Professor Nick Stone, project lead from the University of Exeter. Provided we can reach a lump or bump of interest with the needle tip, we should be able to assess if it is healthy or not. Healthy bumps are fine, the unhealthy ones are the problem. Hey, just giving my own two cents worth. Crowdsourced Antibiotics Swallowing seawater is part of surfing, but now scientists behind a new initiative called Beach Bums want to swab the rectums of surfers to see if this water contains the key to developing new antibiotics. They're searching for antibiotic-resistant bacteria known as superbugs. By studying the samples from the surfers, they hope to learn more about these potentially dangerous organisms in the hope of producing new drugs to combat them. Okay, so no surfing for me ever again. Near-perfect insulation There are two things the majority of people in the Western world own, a refrigerator and a mobile phone, and aerogels could revolutionize the manufacture of both. An aerogel is a material that is full of tiny holes. Made by extracting all the liquid from a gel, it can be made up of 95% pores. These pores are so small, between 20 and 50 nanometers, the gas molecules can't squeeze through them. As a result, aerogels can't transport heat, making for a material with incredible insulating properties. The unusual electrical properties of aerogels also make them suitable as lightweight antenna for mobile phones, satellites, and aircraft. There you have some of the strangest yet life-changing technologies of our near future. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic time until our next video. Take care and see you back here soon.